This presentation aims to provide an overview of a proposed National Biosecurity Risk Management and Spatial Information System, what it is and how it can be used. The aim of this project is to develop a proof of concept spatial portal to support a proposal for a National Plant Biosecurity and Risk Assessment Information System. The portal is intended as a resource for peak industry bodies. This project is an initiative of Greenlife Industry Australia and is a Hort Innovation Nursery Levy funded project. The fundamental objective of the portal is to illustrate the benefits of a national biosecurity spatial information system with the aim of building support for the ongoing development and use of this resource. The spatial portal provides an intuitive map-based interface that allows users to explore and manage a range of relevant data sets. A range of national and state spatial data has been included in this proof of concept spatial portal. But please note that any available digital data can be included if required. All the available data sets are accessible from the table of contents on the left side of the portal. Of particular relevance are the biosecurity data sets. The available biosecurity data sets are listed by state. In Queensland, there are examples of plant and animal biosecurity zones. For example, Queensland sugarcane biosecurity zones and fire ant infestation zones in Queensland. Example biosecurity zones in other states include potato cyst nematode in Victoria, fruit fly in South Australia, and varroa mites in New South Wales. The portal contains a range of industry business data, including the location of businesses, some descriptive information such as contact details and a risk hazard rating for each property. The portal uses roles-based security to ensure business information is only accessible by authorised users. Note that other data fields can be added for specific industry uses. For example, a user can locate all those businesses at high risk of being affected by hail. The business data can then be exported for use in other systems. The primary use of the spatial portal is to help industry assess and manage biosecurity risk. Spatial analytics is a powerful tool allowing us to model and analyse spatial data, thus enabling relationships and trends to be identified that would not otherwise be apparent. In this example, we can use the available spatial tools to identify those businesses within the latest fire ant zones. Again, the related business data can be viewed, exported and reported on. In this example, we can identify those businesses within five kilometres of the latest potato cyst nematode outbreak. The Spatial Portal provides a range of tools for recording and managing biosecurity incidents, such as the discovery of a varroa mite at a property. The system can be configured to allow responsible people to add incidents in draft format, and once confirmed, the data can be made available to specific groups or to the public. Once the data is in the database, there are a range of tools available for analysing and reporting on the impact the incident will have on businesses or other entities. As a peak industry body, you can create and manage biosecurity incidents relevant to your industry. In this example, let's say that an industry member reports a biosecurity incident at 104 Chevellum Road in Palmwoods, Queensland. The system manager can use the property data to create an incident for that property. Then using the spatial analysis tools, they can identify which of their industry members are potentially at risk and act accordingly. The Spatial Portal also provides tools for creating feature-rich maps and reports to inform industry about biosecurity incidents. Biosecurity risk zones can be quickly created and included in reports. 
The portal allows you to visualize risk zones by their distance from the biosecurity incident. For example, 2500 meter zone, 5000 meter zone, and 10,000 meter zone. Using the portal's spatial analysis tools, we can quickly identify those businesses at risk in each zone and react to them accordingly. In addition, map reports can be generated and distributed in email or hard copy format. The live BOM data feed provides real-time weather information at both the state and national levels. For example, Queensland and New South Wales river observations and flood tendencies. The national wind speed map. the National Rainfall Map and the National Flood Warning Map. The Spatial Portal also includes some cyclone hazard information that can be used to assess and manage risk to a business. Spatial analytics can be carried out on any of these data layers. For example, Let's display the historic Category 5 cyclone paths. Then let's drill down on the path of Cyclone Marcia, which smashed into Queensland in February 2015. Spatial analytics allows us to find out which businesses were within 50 kilometres of Marcia, which provides an insight into who could have been badly affected. First, we display the historic Category 5 cyclone tracks. Then we select the track of Cyclone Marcia. Then we use spatial analytics to buffer the track by 50 kilometers. This then allows us to identify those businesses that were most severely impacted by the cyclone. Also included in the portal is the Australian tree crop map that summarizes the extent of commercial horticultural tree crops in Australia. Tree crops include avocado, banana, citrus, macadamia, mango, olive, and truffle. The portal's mapping, spatial functions and reports are available for use with this data. This has been a brief introduction to the proposed National Spatial Biosecurity Information System. It has hopefully provided you with some insights into what is possible and the benefits it can provide to your industry. Please note that the system contains many more data sets and has much more capability than just demonstrated. In addition, it has the capacity to include specific data sets and capabilities required by your particular industry body. Please contact John McDonald for further information. Thank you.